White wine, please. You look familiar. Oh, yeah. I drink here a lot. Oh, my God. You are the one who ran in with the nose. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, Captain Maya Bishop. Dr. Karina De Luca. If I buy you a drink, would you tell me the story of how you ended up carrying a nose in a plastic bag? Sorry, I'm drinking alone tonight. Are you sure? Maybe not. <sighs> That's one way to get to know me better. I find it is the fastest way. Hi. What are you doing here? I saw Warren at the hospital and he said it was a tough day, so I brought you lasagna. Karina, you're hot, but all we did was hook up. I don't need a girlfriend. Wow. Okay. Um, it was nice meeting you then. I'm sorry. I'm... Rude? Broken? I'm not in the habit of fixing broken people. Hands up. Sei... Sei bellissima. Sei forte, sei tenace. I don't understand a word of this. Go shine your light. Bella. Dammi un bacio. Was that kiss me? Yeah. <laughs> I think about dying. It soothes me when I can't sleep. When I'm anxious, I think about dying and then I can fall asleep. Eyes forward at all times. It's exhausting. I'm exhausted. Who taught you eyes forward? My father. Have you considered the possibility that he was wrong? Uh, could you take some days off? Could we try to go somewhere? I thought you had to work. I have some personal days saved up. How many? Uh, a like hundred maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't take days off. But I would like to try. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Really? Ah, you ready? Yeah, yeah, just um you, you don't look ready. Just had to call the station. No one ever remembers your okay, stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Then um all this and some fruity drinks will be waiting for you with Cole. Okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> it's a four alarm fire that they're expecting it to get to five. They're calling everyone in. They will call everyone else. They they are gonna put out the fire. It's yeah, I'm 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 the captain. I should be there of a five-alarm fire is um, uh, Maya. I'm too far away. Maya, okay, Maya, you're having a panic attack. It's okay. It's okay. I've got you. It's, but I'm... Um, okay. Okay. You, you, okay. Look, look at me. Look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at me. You, your eyes only need to be on me. No, 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 no. No eyes forward. No eyes forward. Eyes only on me. Good. Breathe. Hi, Captain Bishop. I'm um, sorry to interrupt. Ah, uh, your mom is here? Mom. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you one of Maya's fire women? No, I'm not a firefighter. I'm Dr. Karina De Luca. Oh. I was just about to leave. Mom, what are you doing here? I... I left your father. I came here to apologize for the abuse because I didn't I didn't protect you and 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 that is a mother's job. I'm so sorry. I What what are you talking about? My uh, your father is abusive. Engine 19, ladder 19, in car 19, reported fire at bowling alley.
What is this? Hey, oh, hi. I, I know you needed help getting ready for your spaghetti dinner, so we helped. I didn't ask you to do that. I didn't think Dad never laid a hand on us. He was tough. He could be a jerk, he could be mean, but that doesn't mean he abused us. Tough is grounding you for breaking curfew. Abuse is making you walk home 20 miles from your track meet for coming in second. I came in first, actually. But I didn't beat my own time. Why? Come with me to my next therapy session. I beat it the next time. You know, I agree. You need therapy. But I'm good. Maya. Denial is a strong force, and, and, and the abuse that your mom described outside is still abuse. I'm not in denial. I want a gold medal because of my dad. I am the youngest fire captain in Seattle and this station's first female captain because of my dad. I am not in denial. I am pissed. Your mind is brilliant. And maybe you think you're too smart to be in denial. Maybe you think you're too smart to have been abused. Okay, I'm not interested in talking. To help. He never hit me. That's not the only way you abuse somebody, Maya. Psychological abuse, verbal abuse, they, they are real. I don't want to fight with you. I don't want to fight either. Then I think you should go. What? <laughs> this is not how you handle a fight. Maya, I... I'm here for you. I'm not leaving. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I need, I need to run. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a run. I thought you left. I, I, I almost did. But then I thought you might need. I to don't need anything except space. I can see that you're pushing me away and I want to give you space. So but give me space. I, I understand that you're going through a lot then and, and I, I, I'm trying not to be mad at you. Well, I just slept with Jack an hour ago. So be mad at that. <sighs> hey, kiddo. Kiddo! Hey, Dad, you should probably wait for me at home. Your family's falling apart and you're playing fire captain? I'm not playing anything. I am captain. Did your mother fill your head with drama? Hmm? Is that why you're treating me this way? You know, Dad, I have to Don't go and you have to work. raise your voice at me, young lady. I am in charge and I'm ordering you to leave my scene. What did you say? You heard me. Get your hands off of me! Oh, yeah. Oh, you need your big strong men to fight your battles. No, now, captain. Dad, I don't. I don't need to win my gold medals for other people. Unlike you, I win them myself. <laughs> I was so stupid. Everyone saw the truth about my dad but me. Who in the best relationship I ever had because of him? You could apologize. That's too late for that. Way too late. You'd be surprised how far an I'm sorry can get you. Karina, what do you want? I'm an idiot. You were right. I was abused. My dad was abusive. But that is no excuse for what I did to you. And Please, please, please take me back. I love you. And I've never said that about anyone before. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Oh my God, forgive me. Oh, me. sorry, God. sorry. She cheated on me with her ex-boyfriend. And, and, and then you throw it in my face just to hurt me. And what am I supposed to do now? Forget that? Am I supposed to trust you? I don't, I don't know. But I'm okay spending every day trying to convince you to. Forgive her. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It just, if you love her, forgive her. I 
I love you, Maya. Oh, come kiss me. <laughs> I mean, you could come in and visit me at work. If my boss is not seeing her husband, I'm not gonna see my girlfriend. What about just a super short little visit? No kissing on the mouth. It's not safe, and I suspect impossible. I mean, aren't you just a little curious? <laughs> Girl. I miss Karina. Hey, we had just reached a good place, and then the pandemic hit, and I get that we're being responsible by not seeing each other, but it seems kind of extreme. The alternative is quarantining together, which is basically moving in together, which also s seems extreme. Oh, I hate this. I, I hate this disease. I hate, I hate being alone. I... Wait, wait, what? Why can't you and Maya be together? Because you and Chief Baby, you quarantine apart. I don't... Wait, 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 wait. You're staying apart because Miranda and I are staying apart? Yeah. Oh, Karina. <laughs> If it were only up to me, my wife and I'd be braving this thing together. We God knows this is a messed up time in all of our lives, but what the hell is the point of finding your person if you don't get to weather the storms together? Get your girl. They're going to humanely remove the animal and transport it to uh, the zoo. Are you really, really here, or am I just really tired? Uh, both, I'm guessing. What? I miss you. Move in with me. What? I know that, that we have barely spent three days together since I broke your trust, but I am hoping that me asking you to move in with me is a sign that I'm all the way in. Actually, um, I came here to ask you the exact same thing. I'll do yours if you do mine. <laughs> How do you make even nasal swabbing sound sexy? <laughs> I usually just make a protein shake and drink it on my way to work. Mmm. Mm. Okay, that might be better than sex. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. This morning I woke up in the apartment and I looked around it her cheeses and her pastas and all of her wonderful everything and I could feel the rage building inside of me because I'm so used to having control over every last inch of my space and now she's here and it's terrifying. I am terrified that I am going to snap at her like him and that she is going to stop loving me and... Look, I'm still working on this one myself, Maya, but I think being afraid to be like your dad is the first step to not being like him. Hey. Uh, 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 uh. Shower first. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. What is with our kitchen becoming a cheese cellar? It reminds me of home. Yeah, I know, you said that, but it is starting. Maya, my home is really scary right now. It's worse in here, and in here is really bad. I'm, I'm scared for my dad. I cannot be there to take care of him and to make sure that he does what he's supposed to. So, um, it feels good to look up and to be reminded of, of, of the good memories of Italy instead of the constant fear and worry. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. Gotta go get ready to bring some babies into this terrifying world. I did that today. You did what? I brought a baby into this terrifying world. You did? I mean, brought, maybe, maybe more like caught. Tell me everything. Well, first I'm gonna shower, and then I will tell you all about it. Naked. Mm -hmm. No. In bed. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, Karina, just uh, checking in. Uh, I hope your, your day is less eventful than my night was. Today is the annual inspection, which is the most important day of my captaincy so far, and I thought it was tomorrow, so I'm not ready. I haven't slept or showered or eaten or processed what I witnessed last night, and now I'm rambling on your voicemail because I miss you, and oh God, what if we fail? What if I fail? That is... I stay on her, okay?
We need to make sure we can see your car at all times. Okay, Karina? I am, Andrea. Don't worry. Look, well, can can we call your your girlfriend now, please? Karina, are you okay? Yes, we are safe. Hey, for Bishop, now, I just got a million texts from Andrew to Lucas saying, "Oh, uh, right, look, she's getting out. Who's getting out?" Okay, no, Andrea. No, Andrea. We must call the police. They arrive in a moment. This time, they're not open. Andrea. 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 Uh, my... Maya, I have to hang up. What? No, no, no! Don't hang up. I can't just stay here while Karina's. Wait, hold. Maya. Okay. This inspection defines your role as captain. I'm a first responder. I'm going to respond, and if that means it's the last day as the first female captain, then I can live with that. I'll get everyone in their class A's. Go. Freeze. Uh, what's going on? What is going on? Yeah. And there. Hey. He stabbed me. Help! Help! Excuse us, clear path, please. Number two, clear path. Clear path. Help! 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 Karina, I'm going anywhere. Hey, I can't get comfortable anywhere. You want to give the bed or the couch another shot? Too soft. You want to scream? Would that make you feel better? And scream. Your brother died, Karina. You're allowed to wake up the neighbors. He didn't die. He was murdered. Scream. Ah. 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 This is all my fault. This is I, my brother is dead because I'm an hey, idiot. Hey, 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 hey! Listen to me. None of this is your fault. Whose fault is it then? Who am I supposed to blame? Who? Blame me. We have to get some of this off of you. I will take it. Blame me. I should have gotten to you sooner. I should have been there. Blame me. Why? This is not your fault. Then why is it yours? Because I let him on that train. I did that. I. Hey. Hi. Give me the guilt, okay? Give me the, the blame. Give me the part that stings the most, okay? Let me hold on to it for a, a little while, and when you're feeling a little stronger, you can have it all back. I promise. Too soft. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm not a child. I don't need a fire truck. Right? Maya, scream! What? Scream! I can't do it. No, I can't. I can't do it. Tesoro, tesoro, ciao, ciao, ciao. Ho appena saputo di Andrea. Hi, hello. Hi. Ma è sì. This is my friend. Yeah. Um, Gab Dottor Gabriella Aurora. Hi. Yes. Sì. Yeah. So you guys um, grew up together? Uh, no, we're been friends only since medical school. Well, friends. I mean, yeah, that too, but. 
Mi hemos faltado que tanto sexo. Yeah, that uh, is. Yeah, she... no, I got that one. I remember that one. Mm. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Karina's ex sex buddy is visiting. Oh, so this is like a jealousy thing? No. Karina's grieving, right? And her friend, who she used to have some sex with, is here to comfort her, kind of like you're doing now. Karina comes alive with her in ways that I haven't seen in weeks. And she's laughing again and eating again and... You feel threatened. But Karina, she, she loves you. And she's also going through the worst thing I think any of us can imagine. Okay, see, this is why I don't deal with feelings, because they become other people's problem. I am threatened by you and Gabriella. But G Gabriella is my friend. I know it's stupid. I'm just telling you the truth. My, I, what you and I have is uh, uh, fantastico. It's ours. Just ours. If you if you wanted to keep making your point, <laughs> sir. Yeah, but get off the phone and pull the power forward. Thank 19, you. Ladder nineteen, in car nineteen, two car motor vehicle crash. Railroad. That's me. No, no, you're my partner, and the only person here who likes me. Oh, that's not true. Look, Bishop likes you. Maya, we have patients, and they are being taken care of. You are snapping at everyone. And I get being stressed. I get if it's even residual grief, but I would not be a good girlfriend if I didn't ask. Are you okay? My visa is expiring and I might have to go back to Italy. What? How? I, I don't understand. I, I don't have time to teach you about the, the, the screwed up immigration laws of this country. I have to get back out. Okay, there. okay. Just when? Next one. I can't go to Italy. Why not? Because of a pandemic, because PD is warring with us, because I have a job to do. I was just on bereavement. Maya, it's not like you're gonna be gone forever. Go help her settle in. Fill your suitcase with PPE to help out and just be there for her. Karina, with everything going on here, with the tension with PD and- I know. You have to stay. Your whole country is in crisis. You can't leave when there's such a desperate need. It's okay. I love you. We'll be okay. I'll be back before you know it. I'll be back. I keep thinking maybe I should just propose and then she won't have to leave. You two are meant to be. You, you get through this. You know, honestly, until I met you, I think a part of me always assumed I'd end up marrying a man. Really? But now I'm... I mean, I guess I can see that. Your dad kind of drilled the sense of, my way is the only way. And that's probably why I never want to get married. My parents made it look so unappealing. You don't want to get married? Oh, no, I don't believe in it. that seeing vaginas ripped open by baby's head would make me less interested in sex with women, but <laughs> oddly, it hasn't. Mm. I imagine it has made you less interested in giving birth, though. No, not really. I mean, before you said you don't want to get married, but you do want to have kids? Okay, you know the story of my parents, and look at your parents, Bambinet. I, I thought we were building a future together. Um, we are. We don't need to be married to do that. Yeah, but you're moving back to Italy. I'm sorry I have to leave. If there was any other way... There I... is. We could get married. I'm not getting married just because of the visa. Just because? This is not something you do to solve a problem. I don't see any other way. Maya, you didn't even want this until you started getting sad about me leaving. Lena, we have learned more about each other in the last two hours than we have in our entire relationship. I should have known that you don't want to get married and that you do want to have babies. I knew it. I knew you would break out on me eventually. I mean, maybe we're just not 
right for each other. Ah, okay, so you want to break up temporarily? Oh, do you want to get married? Marriage is what can keep us together. Exactly! It is crazy that the only recourse that I have to say in Seattle to save my life with you is to send a piece of paper saying that I will never leave you. Oh, you'll still have Gabriella. Wow. I mean, maybe she is who you're supposed to be with. Maya, stop. Maybe we're just not meant to be together forever. Stop, Maya, you've said enough. What are you saying? Our marriage is not real. Then get a divorce in two years, so what? What Maya and I have is real. And I don't need a piece of paper to tell me that. And I don't want to run into a situation that we might regret in a couple of years just because of paperwork. So you're willing to lose her instead? Huh? I... <laughs> you just... you just let her go? What am I supposed to do? I was awful, she was awful. Maybe you guys are gonna get back together, right? Once her visa gets renewed? Maya. Marry me. I know I'm a stubborn idiot and I don't want to get married just because the government says we have to. And I still think marriage was invented to keep women as property, but I'd much rather do something that I don't want to than lose you. Karina, please, please, Bermina, marry me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. I understand you wrote your own vows. Oh my God. What? I forgot we were writing our own vows. Oh my God, I got <laughs> so excited about it. I'm so sorry. I'm... No, 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 hey, no. I can't. Hey, so... This is perfect, it's okay, it's okay. Listen to yourself. Queen of the clipboard, Maya Bishop, was so excited about something that she forgot. I love that. <laughs> I love, I love. And I choose you. I don't need to say anything else. We're good. Then, Maya Bishop, do you take... I do. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I now pronounce you wife and wife. Captain Bishop has been relieved of her duties. Every night for the last 11 months, I have fantasized about putting my wedding dress back on and storming the Callister's office again. Yeah, and get yourself the more to <sighs> I mean, although if you got fired, then maybe we could finally start talking about babies. I think I can do it. Have kids. I mean, it's terrifying. It's like ripping your heart out and, and watching it walk around the world. It is like ripping your heart out and watching it walk around the world. It's... Okay, Maya, I love you. And if being married to you means not having any children, I will learn to accept that because I don't want to force you to do anything you don't want to do, especially not something as big as bringing another life into this world. But I know you. You aren't afraid of anything. So when you tell me that you don't want to have kids because you're too terrified of it, I don't believe you. Okay, Maya, what is it? Can you look at me? What, what, what? You don't understand, Karina. You're a doctor, an OB for God's sakes. You can still do your job and be pregnant. When a firefighter gets pregnant, they have to report themselves by day one. Day one. I wouldn't see the inside of a fire truck for nine months. Do you know what happened to me on duty yesterday? What? I mean, I got high on K2 and passed out. What? You know, there are no pumping brakes in the middle of a call. There are no breast milk fridges at a firehouse. Okay. 
And lucky for you, there are two wombs in this relationship. Okay, even if you were the one to carry, I would still be a new mom. And yes, they would technically give me parental leave. But do you really think that they would promote me back up after that? Where the hell are my shoes? Right there. You know, Warren and Miller, hmm. they can become dads at the drop of a hat. Hi. And they can enjoy the magic and the spontaneity. And the department can, uh, the department just congratulates them and gives them a cigar because the system is built for them, but it's Let's not, not for me. Talk about you know, I right tried, now, I, mean, I tried, I tried, okay, to wrap my brain around it. For you, because you got married for me. I did not get married for you. Okay, I know. You didn't. <sighs> I love you. But I can't do it. I'm sorry that I don't want what you want. I'm sorry that you're not fine. And I know me being sorry doesn't make it any better, but it helps. Look, I know you have a crappy father, but I still think you'll be a wonderful mother. I want you, I want us to break our family pattern. I want you to change the way the fire department treats women. I, yes, I ultimately want you to want what I want, but I don't want it today or tomorrow. I just want it someday. I saved a kid today. You did? No, I will. <laughs> I was pretty good with him. Okay. And, and I, I like the feeling. I want to want what you want. I don't yet. But I want to. <laughs> Maybe that's enough. Maybe it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, um, you're off shift Friday, yes? I made the reservation at the Burmese restaurant with the uh -huh, uh -huh. shift doesn't start for half an hour. <laughs> Okay, I don't have time to guess ready right now. I'm meeting Jack. Oh, Jack can wait. Jack is patient. Jack is way less fun than your you wife. You need to stop saying Jack's name <laughs> while you're naked. Yeah? I'm sorry, you want to give me a spanky? Mm. Mm, okay. I am a woman of my word, and I worked it today, mm. so I can't. No. Only half seven minutes. <laughs> so what, what should we do? <sighs> what, potty? Potty. Okay, let's go to the bath, let's go, let's go to the bathroom. Yep. Oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, oh. 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 <laughs> help. <laughs> She's leaking. Give it to me. Hello, Bella. <gasps> Should we get changed? Oh, God, it smells so bad. <laughs> That's right. Everybody's poo stinks. Even uh, my ass. You're all set. Oh, we might need to change the socks, too. Let's see what color we have. <gasps> Look oh, at that. Yeah. Today was a lot for everyone. Yeah, it was a disaster. <laughs> it's a pretty beautiful one. It was. Yeah. And yet, when there was a child in the building, we were all fine. When there was a child in my arms in the middle of it all, I was fine. We kept her fine. We knew how to keep her fine. We can do this. I can do this. Let's have a baby. Sorry, what? I've been thinking this whole time that I need to stick to some plan. But plans don't work. 
People die. Families fall apart. What's up? Sorpresa! You are supposed to be at work. I'm not working for the next two days. Well, why? Because we're making some homemade work? We're making a baby and I want to have all the romance and all the sex that comes with making a baby. Mm -hmm. And there's been so much pain and so much grief. I just think we need a little bit of something different. And you... Oh, I really do. Should I go? Oh. And I am gonna be your very sexy massage therapist today. <laughs> oh, the surprises keep coming. Karina, this is... Yeah. This is so romantic. You know... I spend my whole adult life bringing babies into the world and then watching them getting rolled away. I never get to see how they turn out or, or what kind of mothers my patients will be. I just... I just... Welcome, little one. Bye-bye. Have a nice life. You want to be the one who carries? We can talk about that. I know you're an athlete and you might want to experience... No, it's you. And for the egg? We can do IVF? Nope. It should be yours. I want to hold a little you. I want them to have these eyes. <laughs> and this freckle. I want to have another version of you that I can count my glasses. The sperm bank called and they have an opening next Tuesday, so we can get in sooner. Great. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You cramming for a pop quiz? Uh, brushing up on protocol, just in case. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's me. Yeah. Uh, but I got it. Uh, sperm bank, okay? Tuesday. See? I was listening. Her career is her baby. That's the thing she'll fight for. That she'll break her hands to protect over and over. That's the dream she's chasing. Not me, not having a family. I come second. No, I know that's not true. It's just so difficult finding the right donor, doing the insemination. Well, hey, if it's sperm you're stressing about, I can give you that. I'm just saying, I make a lot of it. Waste a ton of it. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. It's a stupid thing to yes, even it say. Was. Yeah. Yes, it was. Just kind of came out. Oh, my God. No, no, uh, no. You know, I just like my pick better. Besides, there's no guarantee that it'll be a genius if we go with yours. Exactly. So what does it actually matter which of the two we pick? Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Why don't we just go with mine? Are we back to step one? No, we're not. We're not. But I am late for shift, and so are you. But we will talk about this later. I love you. I want our donor to be someone we know. Okay, so mom, we know like your brother? No, 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 I, I really don't need my jeans in there. I just want to know more than I know when I'm buying sperm from a stranger. Okay. Do you have anyone in mind? No, but we could brainstorm together. Okay. Okay. I mean, there's a lot more to talk about. No, I know, I know, and we will, but I wanted you to know that it was not all about me winning sperm donor. Okay, we'll talk later. Mm-hmm. Your temporary demotion was well over a year ago, and that can't be contributing to your success on the job having that hanging over your head. Let's talk. Tuesday? Great, I'll see you then. <laughs> All right. Okay, there is something I have to tell you. Uh, Jack offered. Offered what? His sperm. When? It was practically a joke. He was like, oh, I have extra if you need some. And he took it immediately back like it's a dumb thing to say. Because it is. Exactly. So, Bishop, your record is impressive. An Olympian, a respected captain prior to your demotion. You've accomplished a lot at a young age. So, let me ask you this. What is your end goal here in the fire department? Uh, fire chief. I know I have to work my way up, but I am excited to do what it takes to earn that position. I like ambition, and I appreciate a work ethic like yours. 
And I don't want you to lose sight of that goal, despite the fact that I will not be reinstating you as captain of 19. Ta -da! I told you last night that the chief said no. I know, but I had already chilled the champagne, so I decided we're still celebrating. There are so many things to celebrate. I can't. I'm angry and frustrated and I need to throw things and get this out of my system and I can't do that when you are being kind and supportive so please just let me be pissed for a little bit I still love you and we're still making a baby okay, I just need to get this out first Have you thought about it yet? Oh, about the fact that you are actually entertaining the idea of my ex-boyfriend being our sperm donor? That's okay. All I can do. <laughs> okay, okay. He's the last person I thought I'd want as our sperm donor, but we've been looking at options for months and nothing has felt right. I've been spending so much time with him because of the clinic and he's a little awkward, but he's also kind and humble and smart and handsome, whatever. Not Do I need to be concerned about you two? I'm only saying, I mean, we think about the future and not about the past. Hey. 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 Are we gonna blackmail somebody out here? <laughs> no, we, we just wanted to, um, we, we want to, uh, ask you, um, for your sperm, your sperm. Well, we would like to take you up on your offer to be our donor. What she said. My, my sperm. We want this to be someone we know because we do want the donor in the baby's life. So I'd be like Uncle Jack. Yes, and they would know who their donor is. I mean, you'd have a special bond. Is, is that a yes? I think so, yes. Are you sure? Mm. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I brought you some uh, flowers, which now that I think about it is kind of just a weird metaphor for planting seed. Should I? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Come no. in. Ta -da. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna switch to my doctor's voice so we can move past this moment. So first, please sanitize your hands well. No. Yep. And this is the specimen cup in which you will put. Yeah, no, I got that. Okay, great. We're gonna be in the next bedroom uh, preparing. Mm, generally, I do this without an audience. Right, yes. sorry, we're gonna be. Oh, whoa. The, uh, the genetic testing app just alerted me. It says I have a brother. Trina, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for my thing to take it over. Didn't. Okay. Uh, well, then we don't need to reschedule. Yeah, yeah. We're all here. We're all ready. Uh, except the person whose body it's happening to. Wait. You're not ready. <sighs> Is she gonna be like this the whole pregnancy? I don't hang out with pregnant people. I don't know. I didn't even like you. Not one bit. And then, and then you have to make me like you, and now we're maybe making a baby together. Okay, I, yes. agree. I just don't understand why me having a brother changes things. Why, why is that? Because you had no one, and now you do. I think I'm going to go. No. No, no. I mean, you can if you want to, but we still want to do this if you do, right? Right? I if you do. <laughs> no, if you do. How many times do I need to tell you that I do? Oh, now you do. Now that you're trying to avoid your work problems by throwing yourself into the baby making, and now you do. Oh my God, Karina, when are you gonna finally trust me when I say that I want to do this when our child is going away to college? Because you were not sure you wanted to have kids. And you didn't know if you wanted to get married, but I'm not questioning every day if you're gonna leave me. 
Yeah, guys, this isn't really helping my situation. Okay, sorry, you go do your thing, we'll do ours, okay? Okay. <clears throat> you get sure that... Yes! Yeah, cool. Awesome. <clears throat> Fine. Come on. Oh, my God. What? The, the, the green card interview. It's in three weeks. I finally... You don't have to pay your... Oh, so many reasons to be <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've been waiting for hours. What's going on? Uh, it's been 40 minutes. Okay, so birth certificate check. Marriage certificate check. You have your passport. Wait, did I need that? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm not kidding. <laughs> you know, you're not to joke with me, Maya. Sorry. Sorry, we have everything. Okay, we went over with the lawyer like five times. We are good. Hey, are you stressed about the interview? by the fact that it's almost time to take a pregnancy test. <laughs> okay, okay, definitely both. Everything always happens at once. Why? I know. I'm trying to look at it as good Luca? Luca. Huh. Yes? Karina? Yes, that's me. <laughs> Do you own any weapons? No. Are you or have you ever been associate with a terrorist organization? No. Do you plan to commit acts of genocide? <laughs> no. Do you actually expect people to answer that honestly? Well, I'm just saying, if you came here to commit genocide, you're not going to tell Officer Dang. It's just so that if you ever do commit genocide and you told us no, they could deport you for lying in your interview. Right, but not for the genocide. Have you ever elicited the use of child soldiers? No. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I assure you we take this very seriously. Last one. Do you seek to engage in activities of human trafficking? Yes, yes, definitely. My ass. Definitely, definitely yes to that one. Definitely not. We've been here for hours. I think Officer Dang understands that my sense of humor is sarcastic. He's a government official. Officer, she's kidding, just to be clear. I think he's clear, Karina. Do you joke about bombs at the airport? What this isn't an airport. Please I'm stop. Sorry. Congratulations. You have a green card. I do. We do. <laughs> you remind me of me and my wife. The bickering is endless. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you, Roy. Oh my god, thank you. you bet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. you. Thank you. With regards to the Don't wife. Thank You're you. Well. Thanks. Yeah. I want my job back. Bishop? I know you two are sleeping together. I want my job back or I'm going to report you. <laughs> this is the least romantic setting. Well, when it's time, it's time. Um, should I shower first? Do you want to shower first? I mean, I didn't think this through, but I don't want to make a baby smelling like pig sweat. Okay, it's our fifth try. The sperm is $700 a unit. You are ovulating and I'm on shift. It's not perfect timing, but it is what it is. Okay, let's get you showered. Okay? Let's go shower. Come on. Let's do this right. Okay. Okay. Bishop, we gotta go! I'm sorry, I love you. It's okay. Done. Okay. Oh. Um. Yeah. You alright? I'm fine. Just need a few more minutes to, to let the, sp the sperm penetrate the egg. Okay, wow. I just hope you're not gonna report my wife because Captain Beckett already hates her for no good reason that I can see. And if she gets another demotion, I am not sure our marriage could survive it. No, I'm just gonna shower later. Grazie. It's you. So much wisdom, so much empathy for Beckett and not an ounce for me. Why is that? Oh. Why am I still being punished for my ambition by you, by Ross, by Beckett? Blackmailing the chief of the fire department is not ambition. Okay, it's a crime. You're lucky you still have a job at all. Yeah, it was an impulse. Yep, an impulse that didn't go your way. Now you have to live with it. 
Have you heard from my wife? Uh, yeah, she, she's fine. They're on their way back. Uh, apparently, they found Jack. What do you mean they found him? <laughs> Something about handcuffs and a tree. Whatever. Jack is dead to me. Bishop, you're on energy cleanup. I was on that last week. No grunt work suits you. Yes, sir. You, you have no right to be a dick to Maya. What is it? You're such a small man that you feel threatened by her that it, because she's a woman who had your job before you. What is it? It's basic physics, Italy. You push me, I push you. Your wife blackmailed the chief. I have no proof of anything, and that brings us to today. That's not what I'm saying. You are not listening to me. You blackmailed your boss, Maya. Okay, I just need you to be on my side. God, everyone is against me. For the last six months, I've been eating crap from everybody. Please, just be on my side. For the last six months, you've been keeping this from me. For the last six months, you come home miserable, and I don't know why, and when I ask you, deny that anything is wrong with you, and it's been making me crazy, and now the truth is out, and you are not even the one who told me, and you need me to be on your side? Okay, I want my job back. Is that a crime? No, but blackmail is a crime, and it's not even about your job it's it's about the chaos you're constantly in the middle of chaos it, it's i don't think you know how to live a normal life it's constantly up and down and up and down you know how impossible you are these days and it's the hormones and i get it and i am patient but now i'm the one that's acting crazy that's really pot kettle karina we were happy and you created chaos we, we were making a baby i had just gotten my green card we and happiness, and you needed to wreck it. You need to look into that. You need to do. I need to what? To fix it. You, I can't. I can't live like that. I can't make a baby with that. I. Oh, with, with that? Yes, with you, like that. Karina, you could be pregnant right now. Yes, I could be. And that's why you need to get help for us right now. I am sorry, by the way. Yeah, for abandoning us after committing to be our donor. Uh-huh, you should feel sorry about that. Fan is a strong word. No, that's the accurate word. Yeah, no, you're right. It's crazy. He dodged a bullet with me, I suck. He needs help. Yeah, that was clear when we found him drunk under a tree handcuffed to Eva Vasquez's bed. I thought it was your friend. He was, and then he left. I am sorry Jack is struggling, but he ditched us. Yeah, that's kind of cool to me. Do we have each other's backs or do we not? I'm dealing with my own problems right now. Except you're not really dealing with them. I am in my own way. Okay. Have you started looking for therapists? I'm gonna go get cleaned up. No. No. Me or no I'm her? I'm sorry I haven't done everything on your timeline, Karina. I'm living in my own personal hell and my coworkers are now gossiping about Actually, me. Actually, I think And my boss hates me and treats me worse than I was treated as a probie. And now my wife can't have my back because she has suddenly decided that I am unstable. So no, I haven't researched therapists because I've been kind of busy with all of that. I might be pregnant. Yay? I don't even know how I feel about this anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. You don't know if you want to be pregnant? You've been trying so hard for so long. I know, we have. Okay, well, why don't you take a test? N well, what if it's positive? What if it is? I mean, how would you feel? I don't know. I don't know, it sounds like you're feeling out of control. Maybe this would help you feel like you're doing something. <gasps> So what are you hoping for? Maya has mental health issues. That's what I think. The thing that happens when you're in a relationship with somebody with mental health issues is that you don't matter. Well, mental illnesses don't make you inherently selfish. But I don't know, it is selfish if Maya is refusing to do anything about it. It shouldn't be like that. But it is like that right now. Oh my God, I'm so in love with her. But I want her back the way she was. I want us back the way we were. And so I'm waiting. But it's hard, because I want to matter. Mm. What does it say? Okay, you know, hold on. Just don't, don't, don't look. Just, just say it. What do you want? No second guesses. Just what do you want? 
I want a positive. I, I, I want a positive. I want a baby. I want to be a mom. But I want my wife to be here with me. I want her to be committed and involved. I, I, I don't want to do this alone. Okay. Cool. What are you doing? Well, like you said, it's probably too early anyway. But now you know what you want. Oh, I'll start. Karina. Sarah. Is your hair red? Yeah. Courtesy of Beckett. I've shampooed four times now, but apparently he used food coloring. Oh, yeah. That's me. Beckett soaked my last clean pair of clothes, and this is the freshest smelling thing that I have. <laughs> you smell like old cheese? Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Old cheese. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm so, if I don't laugh, I'll cry. So. Why are you here in the pink scrubs? The clinic isn't until tomorrow. I volunteered to help with the open house, and this is my Halloween costume. Woman who's hopeful for things to go back the way they were. Got it. Maya. <laughs> Maya. Work today, team. Good work? Seriously? Ruiz. You're so focused on proving you're the big man around here, you don't know how to be a good leader. You know Bishop's worked five shifts in a row, right? That's 120 hours with barely any rest. She's killing herself to prove she deserves her spot on this team. I am fine, Ruiz. We saved that family. Maya, your wife might be pregnant. You could be someone's mom right now, and you're out pulling cowboy crap like you got a death wish. Bishop, you are off shift right now. If I find out you worked even another shift before your next regularly scheduled one, I will send you back to the academy. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Are you okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just tired. Thirsty. I'm gonna go shower. And then uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna come home. I shouldn't, I shouldn't work uh, like this, this, and it's not safe for the others, so... Yes, I mean, you should sleep in bed at home with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly what I need. Do you need something? Do you remember the first night we hooked up? I remember everything about that night. I remember the smell of your hair and the lavender flowers. The is there a point here? And there she is. That jerk that tried to push me away the following morning. I was happy to walk away and never see you again. I you didn't let me. You kissed me and, and you told me you were sorry. And that you wanted to see me again. And look how far we've come now. Surpresa. And what is this? It's everything from our first night together. It's the same lingerie, the same lavender flowers. It's... I love you. And whatever we're going through, we'll get through it together because our love story is beautiful and I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose us. I missed you. I am so happy that you are still here. How was the call? It was almost really awful and really devastating, and then it wasn't. Kind of like us. Did you take a pregnancy test? No, I wouldn't do that without you. Good, so what's wrong? I still need you to get help. My love, I think that growing up with your dad, you developed some control issues. 
And I feel like you're using the truth in a way that makes it impossible for me to argue. I don't want to argue anymore, mm -hmm. okay? I want you to understand that I'm helping myself in a way that works for me. Talking doesn't work for me, okay? I'm working through my anger and my pain in my way. And if that makes you angry, if that hurts you, then you should work on that your way. Where are you going? For a run. I took a pregnancy test the other day. What? I'm sorry. I had to know. I need to think I did. I'm telling you now. I'm not pregnant. Wow. I can't believe you took a pregnancy test without me. This is the part you're reacting to? I am reacting to all of no, it. No, you're not. You're reacting to the part that applies to you. You're reacting to the part that you can be offended by. I am not pregnant, Maya. Did you hear that part? I did. And it, how are you, Karina? How, how are you feeling? Do you need anything? Is there anything that I can do for you? What should we do next? All these are normal things that you can take to your wife right no, now. No, the normal thing is doing a test together. Oh my God. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm... S Listen, I'm just in shock, okay? You seemed so... I, okay, I thought, I thought it worked, okay? You seemed so pregnant. How did I seem so pregnant? I don't know. Mood swings and, and snacking and symptoms. Symptoms of being pregnant. Those are symptoms of being a human being, Maya. Okay, you know what? I'm going to work. Bailey's reproductive care clinic is opening today. I can actually make a difference there. I didn't mean to scare you. What happened? Maya has rhabdomyolysis. When she came in, her CK was severely elevated. And she's not having a heart attack, so I'm just trying to figure out what she may have done that may have caused it. She's been working out a lot lately. Okay, I worked out my entire life. No more than usual. Are you sure it's rhabdo? I'm certain. Hey, I'm okay, okay? I promise. I just overdid it. All right, we will get this sorted out. We will put you on continuous fluids and keep an eye on your CK markers. In the meantime, try to get some rest, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Are you really not going to get me discharged? I mean, no. Well, I don't need to be here. I'm just a little dehydrated. No, you've been doing too much. I'm fine. There was a call and there a man down. Okay, so I need to get back to work. Okay, so can you just get these things off of me? Maya, you're in no shape to go back anywhere, I, let alone go back to work. Oh, I feel fine. And I'm telling you, you're not fine. You need help. You need rest. Stop telling me what I need, okay? You don't know what I need. Now let me go back to work, or I will go on my own. Am I good to be discharged? Maya, Dr. Altman and I have some concerns about your condition and about the events that have led to your collapse. It'll be best for you to stay in the hospital. Well, I'm not staying, so you can forget about that. If you're not going to stay on your own, we'll place you on a 72 hours hold. You're serious? You're 5150? Yes. Look, if you try to walk out that door and do anything even remotely strenuous, you could die. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I feel fine, okay? Let me go home. We can figure this out. No, no. You, can Maya, help. No. you can help me. Maya, no. At home. You're not going home. I can't help you there. I've tried, but you don't let me, so this is me helping you. No. No. Maya. No, no, no. Wait, you know, Maya? you can't do this. I am a perfectly competent and capable person of making my own decisions. I don't competent and capable person who didn't try to leave the hospital against no, medical stop. advice. So, yes, Maya, Maya I can do this and I'm doing this. No, Maya. No. I'm serious. If you're trying no, to leave, Lena. have you put you in restraints? Please don't make this harder than it needs to be. Wow. You left me no choice. Yeah. All right, this is getting. I need you to. This isn't support. 
This isn't love when your brother died. <laughs> you could barely get off the freaking kitchen floor. You know what I did? I let you figure out your crap on your own. I didn't call psych and have you committed. Okay? That is love. That is support. So no. This is not helping me. Oh, Maya, I want you to lie back. Look at your heart rate. Right I just, I can't believe you would do this to me. I can't. Dr. Altman is going to take it from here. Oh, so. the legs you go to get your way. If you walk, if you walk out that door, we're done. Do you hear me? If you walk out that door, we are done. I lose you either way, Bella. I'd rather lose you and have you be alive. No, Karina, Karina, how could you do this to me? No, I can't. Karina, 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 how could you? How could you? Your wife had to 5150 you to get you the medical care you needed, and your employers are waiting for me to determine if it's safe to let you go back to work. Do you still hope to get back to work for the fire department? Okay, what am I drawing? A timeline. Of what? Uh, well, you're an Olympian. Not only that, you won the gold on a sprained ankle. Yep. Okay. Make a timeline of your Olympic win. Every relevant moment leading up to it. That's impossible. How am I supposed to remember every moment? The ones that matter will come to you. Start with the first time you ever had the thought, I want to win. What does this say? You can't read it? I can read it, but I'd like you to read it. It says, three years old, my cousin's track meet. That's the first thought you had of winning? The first one I can remember. Because your cousin won? No, because she lost. And I, I saw his face. Who's he? My dad. I, I saw his face when she lost. You know, my ankle hurts. I'm going to get some ice. Wait. Can you move toward that pain? I don't know what that means, but my ankle hurts. You ran a race on a sprained ankle and won gold. You can sit with pain, Maya. Just put your hand on it. <laughs> it's okay, Maya, let it out. I just said I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. It's okay. You once told me that you think about dying so that you can rest. That's because three-year-old Maya can't rest. She's too afraid that if she does, she's not lovable. Maya, for whatever it's worth, I'm in awe of the three-year-old that you were. She is worthy of your love and your care. Can you picture her? Try to see her. <laughs> I love you, no matter what. You are lovable, even when you lose. Okay? Mm -hmm. You did beautiful work today. There's more to do. And we'll work together once a week for the next few months, at least. But I think you can ease back into death duty if your medical team blesses it. I want to call my wife. Can I call my wife? Can I tell her I'm sorry? You can absolutely do whatever you want to do. But how much have you slept in the last two weeks? Uh, 16 hours. I think you've probably put your wife through a lot. And if you want my advice... I do. Take care of yourself first. Work on yourself first. See if you can rest a little first. But I love her. See if I can love myself first. I love it when they learn. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. Thank you.
Hi, I've reached Karina. Please leave a message. Hey, it's me. I'm just here to pick up a few things. I can't use a hotel shampoo anymore. It's awful. You could always come home. Where is the shampoo? I miss you. I left you a voicemail. Yes, I got it. Did you listen to it? Yeah. I know I made mistakes, and I know I scared you. I'm sorry. I love you. I'll be better. You said that. I mean it. I need more time. Seeing you like that in a hospital bed, what you did to yourself, I can't just jump right back into this with you like I didn't spend the greater part of my year begging you to get help. I'm happy for you. I am. But this is just another thing you did to keep your job. Does your husband know you're trying to recruit me away from Station 18? You are an OB. Yeah. I run a reproductive rights clinic. This is a no-brainer. Okay, so that's a no. <sighs> then we'll understand. Ah, uh, come in. Hi. Oh, I uh, hope I'm not interrupting. Uh, I brought you something special. It's lasagna. <laughs> okay, it's not as good as yours. But I hope you like it. You can't just storm in here with lasagna, Maya. You can't. I can't. Can. So I did, because I love you. And now I'm leaving. What? Eat the lasagna. No. Um, think about what I said. Okay, I'll bother you some more later. If I give up my hours at Station 19, right now they are the only connection I have with Maya. Well, she really seems to be trying to connect with you now. Ah, uh, she told me to leave. Dr. Reddy, she was... She was the one who said we were over. Okay, I don't believe for one second that you and Maya are over. You and Maya will get through this. Oh, if you want to get through it. Uh, you okay? Yeah. Suddenly my stomach feels... The lasagna tasted kind of funny. Oh, the sorry. Lasagna. Oh, no. That is not right. Miranda? What? I heard you were sick. I am. Um, I brought some fluids to help make you feel better. Amaya, oh go away! I told you I don't want to see you. If you would just open the door. I, I asked you for space. I need space. Yeah, I understand that. But we're married and I intend to stay married. I'm, I'm done. I'm done being called around like a doll. I'm done being set to the side. I'm done. I'm done. You know, you nearly poisoned me. Karina? Karina? I'm so cold. Supposed to be at work? I am at work. Mm. Non-stop vomiting can be serious. I am a paramedic preventing a catastrophe. Mm. A catastrophe that you literally baked into a lasagna. How, how do you mess up a lasagna? I don't know. I thought I did everything right. Thank you for coming. Thank you for letting me in. 
You have to go. I'll stay. Maya. No, you could be dehydrated. You could be sicker than we think. I don't. What? I am afraid that if I walk out that door, I don't know when I'll see you again. You will. You will. And I'm gonna check in in a few hours and let you know how I'm doing. Ready, Bishop. Get back. Several doctors were hit by a car outside the reproductive rights clinic at Grace Sloan Memorial Hospital, requesting any available aid cars to the scene. Oh, God. What did they say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hey, 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 Bishop, both hands on your rope. What did they say? What did they say? Hey, take a breath. Okay, you know as much as I do right now. Stay focused. Just, um, Karina's at work today. If you could just find out what's happening. <laughs> Oh, my adult. I got you. Bishop, listen to me, all right? I will find out as much as I can, but right now you have to focus, okay? Right now, you are part of a team. Do you hear me? Maya, breathe. She's at work today, okay? So what if, what if, what if she got, what if she, what if she got hit by a car and, hey. and I'm stuck here and I can't get to her? Oh, my God. Maya. Oh, my God. Maya, Karina's gonna be okay. Okay, you don't know that. Right now, you are a first Responder, all right? You are not a wife. You are not a daughter. You are not an Olympian. We are here to save lives. There is nothing you can do over there in this moment. Do you copy? Okay. 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 Let's keep going. Let's keep going. You're okay. I, I have a patient at six centimeters, so I... Yeah, you have to go. I have to go. Thank you for coming. Hey, thank you for staying. It was good to feel safe. With you. Yeah, it was, it was good, wasn't it? Uh, so we slept in the same room last night. It was nice, but we shouldn't let it be something more than that. Of course, of course, we were just sleeping in the same room. Thank you for understanding. Krina, uh, should we do this again? Uh, is it okay if we talk later, see how the day goes? Later, yes. Great. Okay, bye. Maya? Hey. Uh, ah, I am glad you're here. I was going to call you, but you're here, which um, is even better because I had a whole day to think. I know I seemed disappointed earlier, and I was, but... I understand something now. We never finished our foundation, and I made things worse by trying to build this whole huge, amazing structure on this foundation that couldn't support it. Hmm. But, Karina, I want to fix it. I want to fix it too. I want to be with you. A lot, a lot, a lot. And, and every time I'm near you, I just want to let gravity pull me back to you. But I need to know that this foundation you're talking about is real. I need you to win me back. Slowly. Karina DeLuca, will you go on a date with me? Hey. And they told me you were here. Um, so I'm here for our first date. Oh, right. I am so glad that we're finally getting to do this. It's um, it's Karen, 
right? Delinka? Deluca? Mmm, right. <laughs> can, you just, can you give me one sec? Sure. Ah, uh, sorry. So this is a first date. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're taking it slow, rebuilding the foundation. Nice. I like yeah. it. <laughs> It's weird as hell, but I like it. Okay, okay, I'll be there as soon as I can. Just keep breathing. Uh, who's on eight car duty tonight? Me and Warren. Okay, come with me. Uh, Quick. Hi, Karina. Hey. Thanks for coming. I uh, seem to have gotten myself in a bit of a pickle here. Oh. I thought about how you told me that night that we went out for drinks that moving around can really help. So I took a walk. So dispatch called the vending machine company and they're estimating that it'll be several hours before they can get somebody out here with the key. Oh. Is she, is she gonna be okay? She's gonna be okay. Pam, can you light back for me? Thank you. Oh. Guys, just a second. She's dilated and I faced the babies on the way. How much longer? Look, we're trying to think we can, but I'm worried about that arm. She's in some blood flow. Okay, even so, I think we need to prepare for the possibility that we're going to have to deliver here. Yeah, let me get the pride bar while you keep working on that arm. So you, you know this woman? You, uh, you had drinks together? She's a patient. And a friend. I know all your friends, Karina. Ooh. Uh, Doc? Yeah. Ooh, uh, I have another one! I don't think I can take any more! Um, you can't do this. I know you. I know how strong you are. I know how much you want this baby. Uh, you can't do this because you have to. Hold his leg. Oh, angle burning. Let's go. How can I help? Grace, this leg. I got it. Amazing to me. So, Pam is... Pam is a friend. A new friend. I thought doctors weren't supposed to fraternize with patients. Are you questioning my professional integrity? Can I take you out again? Maybe. Call me. I, I, I thought it was gonna be a slow night, but baby's away for nobody and now I'm exhausted. Okay, you know, I want this day to be whatever you want it to be, so I can just drop you off at your hotel and you can get some sleep if no. you want. No, 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 I just, you know, I want to put my feet up and, and, and have a drink. What about Joe's bar? Joe's? You know this is the first place we met, right? Yes, but the first time I saw you was when you brought in the nose. I was there. <laughs> Very cool. Nice to see you two in here. What can I get you? Uh, I'll take a Bloody Mary and she'll have a white oh, one. Oh God, it's them. Them? Yeah, there was a big bachelorette group in here last night, bar hopping. And it looks like only three still stand. Pray for me. Oh, okay. Another round! No, oh. you're cut off. No, you are cut yeah. off. Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I thought you'd never ask. No, 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 we haven't even shown you the dance we're gonna do. Come on, uh, ladies. Oh, oh, wait. 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 What are you doing? Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. A mark. Oh. I cannot have a bruised eye and a broken nose on my wedding day. Lucy, no. Lucy uh -uh. when you walk down the aisle, your husband is going to see you. Not your makeup, not your dress, not your bruises. It's all just a little scary. I know. I remember the first time I saw my wife at our wedding. For a few seconds, everything stopped. Nothing else existed. It was just me and her against the world. No one knows what comes next, but that's what is so special about marriage. Finding that person that you want to share it with. The ups, the downs, all of it. Wait, you two are married to each mm -hmm. other? Oh, shut up! <laughs> 
First, your pregnant patient is stuck in a vending machine. Then, Bridezilla and her maidens. Why can't we get through a first date? I, I mean, how sad it has to be over. I have clothes at the apartment and I could use a nice hot shower. Oh, yes, the apartment, of course. Yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, there you go. Apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Warren had a tough call. Hey, are you okay? Okay, was today too much? Should we have waited? It's not about the sex, it's I can't, I can't move back in here. I didn't, I didn't ask. But I know you want me to and I wish I could, but being back in here, oh, it feels so painful. Because for months I was in this bed alone, you, I wasn't the person you run to, I was the person you run from. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry for everything I put you through. It wasn't fair. I'm sorry that I didn't listen to you when you tried to help me. I know that the version of us that is happy and light and lovely died in that hospital that day. But I'm willing to put in the work to rebuild us. To make us stronger and better. Because I know from the first time I saw you in that bar, you were the person. The metal of butter. It's a huge deal, right? Congratulations. No, no, it's not a huge deal. So no congratulations then? Well, what about you two? Oh no, living with Maya started to feel just like living with my father and I've learned not to come second to chaos. Well, she seems pretty peaceful to me. She's been seeing Diane regularly, so. Right, doesn't mean that I'm moving back in though. This is not a checklist and I'm not a reward. I need to make sure her priorities have evolved and she won't hurt herself again if, when things don't go the way she wants. I need proof that she won't go back her old ways. So, 19, if any remaining lieutenant wants to be considered for captain, please step forward. Have a good shift. You wanted your proof? What? Warren? What? what? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Chief, but uh, Karina wants proof that Bishop is doing better, and I think you can give it to her. Well, uh, your wife just turned down the opportunity to be considered a captain of 19. No, 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 no. There is nothing she wants more than her captaincy back. Mm, you're wrong, because there's something she wants more. I yes. have your proof. Hey. Hey. I'm going home. I uh, know. And I'm um, coming with you. You're coming with me? You turned down the opportunity to become a captain. Yeah. And I'm coming home, Pamina. For good. For better, for worse, for richer or poorer. I... <laughs> okay, now put some clothes on so I can take them off of you when we get home. <laughs> wow. Can't believe you don't have a dress for the ball. You've known about this for months. Hey, there was a time where I didn't think I would be accompanying you, so I didn't bother getting one. What about your wedding outfit? Good thing we saved that thing. Um,
was so hard being around you and not being able to put my hands on you. I've always wanted three. Then we'd be outnumbered, so that's a no. <laughs> okay. Um, I have another confession to make. Uh um, oh. Should I be sitting up for this? Um, <laughs> Okay, so since you've been doing a lot of work on prioritizing our relationship, I wanted to do a little bit of work too. And I started researching IVF doctors and I've narrowed it down to two dish. Okay, okay, what? Do it. Yeah? Yes, yes, let's do it. Let's let's do it. Yes, let's oh start my it. God. Let's get there. Yes! <laughs> We're never gonna get to this ball, are we? No, oh no, we have to go. Yeah. Ben is getting an award, we have to support. Come on, we gotta ride it. Come on, come on. Come on. And there's food. There's food. Mm -hmm. There's food. Yeah. Maybe one more kiss up? Just one more. No. Just one more. No. Just one more. Just one more. Just one more. Just one more.